Admiral's Palace at Manly, overlooking the Pacific. It was here that His Grace Dr. Michael Kelly, Archbishop of Sydney, fell asleep after a lifetime spent providing sacred benefaction for his fellow men. Archbishop Gilroy and the Apostolic Delegate, Archbishop Panico, lead the way as the casket is reverently taken to the conveyance which is to carry the dead Archbishop to St. Mary's Cathedral. In the city, the cortege is greeted by reverend crowds, sincere in their mourning for a man who combined a lovable character with untiring energy, the greatest worker for his church this country has ever known. Aged 90 at the time of his death, the late Dr. Kelly was the world's oldest prelate in charge of a diocese. After two days, during which many thousands paid sacred homage to the dead archbishop as he lay in state in the cathedral, the long procession begins as he is taken to his last resting place. Dense crowds stand or kneel as the cortege completes its journey, preceded by the police band, the ecclesiastical students, members of monastic orders and bishops and archbishops in their purple and white. And so, back to St. Mary's Cathedral, where Michael Kelly, son of a sea captain, is laid to rest in the heart of an edifice which in life he had proudly watched growing stone by stone, and in the crypt which he himself designed, and which is surmounted by his personally written epitaph. Michael the Builder. You need no epitaph of words. Your everlasting monument lies in stones and mortar of the houses of worship you created and the unforgettable memory of a life filled with that which was best and holiest for your fellow men.